A recent poll from South Dakota News Watch shows several ballot measures losing support, including IM-29, which would legalize recreational marijuana. Our Grant Green spoke with supporters and opponents to get their take on the numbers and the potential revenue that's at stake. Third time's a charm for recreational marijuana in the state of South Dakota. And although the South Dakota News Watch's recent poll shows that marijuana does not have favorability in the state, Brad Jurgensen, the campaign manager of the ballot measure, says what really matters is November 5th's poll. The survey of 500 registered voters showed that 51.4% of voters favored a no vote. Many of these voters older, male, and Republican. Jurgensen hopes these voters and undecided voters keep in mind the financial possibilities that will come with legalized recreational marijuana. Every state that has recreationalized their adult use cannabis has kept it that way. Nobody has repealed it. I think the closest comparison is probably our neighbors in Montana. They've generated $122 million already with their adult use program, and we think it'd be similar to that. Rhonda Milstead, a former state representative and the executive director of Protecting South Dakota Kids wonders at what cost. They're trying to sell us something because, I mean, it's a billion dollar industry. They want to make money off of a drug that harms people. Um, that, that, that's their goal. Recreational marijuana is legal in 22 other states and also Washington, D.C. Jurgensen hopes that people see through what opposition says about the substance. He encourages South Dakotans to really do their research because he believes that a lot of the ads that have been campaigning against the measure are flat out lies.